Okay, I was asked to remake this uh, load box demonstration to give you some idea of what is going on here. You can see the battery is under charge. And, uh, and of course, that corresponds with the meter that's supplied with it. And this meter is driven from these live outputs. And there's only a max of an amp and three quarters here. And of course, you got all your load buttons on the box here. And that meter is corresponding with this meter. So you can drive two or three meters at the same time. And here we can see the charger. And if you notice the lights, this one's flashing. And the green one is floating now. So it's in the desulfation mode when this happens. That means the battery is pretty much charged. So we're just going to turn it off. Comes back to a solid red light, which means it wants to charge, but the battery is falling. So this is a manual charger, and the only thing you have to do to start it charging is push the charge button. And then, of course, you see it do the same thing again as it raises the battery. So turn it off. Let's go over to the load box, turn it on. Of course, it's going to read the battery. We're going to let the battery fall for a minute while I do this. And then you can see that correspond on the chart over here. So now the battery's falling down to this level, which says it's about 14.03, which is corresponding here. So now let's, since we're on golf cart batteries down here, that have been, that we're trying to recondition. Now these have been frozen outside for a while. And the only thing we've done is added water and put the uh, rejuvenator on it. So let's just simulate for the minute the golf cart load at 50 amps when you're just driving along. So you'd use all four buttons. And of course right away you can see the battery fall. And that's going to correspond with this chart right here. Now, if we let it go for a little bit here, change the scale, go up to samples right up here. Hit sample. Go to auto scale. And right away you can see the dip down here. You see, you're, you're simulating this load. Now these batteries are reconditioning, so see how much it's dropped there? And that's going to correspond with it. So you're going to see what power is in the battery. Since we're at the maximum rate of these golf cart batteries under load while the golf cart's running along. So now, say you made a mistake and that's the wrong load, just hit the reset button. And that'll free up the loads. And let's just go with a normal load for it, which is going to be C20 for this battery. It's actually C5 rate um, on, the, on whatever the power of this battery is right now. So we're going to leave it like that. And of course, that's going to correspond with here. Now, you can do any one of these combinations alone by hitting the reset button. If you want 12 amps, push that button. And it's going to load the battery at 12 amps. If you want 6 amps, 6 to 9 amps, push this button. Reset. If you want 3 amps, push this button. So when they're all combined, this one, this one, this one, and this one, you're at a quarter of an ohm, or a 50 amp rate. And of course that's going to correspond over here each time on this scale. So this is supplied with the load box, and uh, 
it's our suggestion that you use it the way we're using it. These are live meter outputs all the time, so if you left this hooked up to the battery, you could reset this, turn this off, turn the charger on. Right away you see a bounce up there. What you don't see, what you don't see now is a green light. So you've loaded the battery, you've taken a lot of amp hours out of this weak battery. So that will correspond over here under charge and now you can watch the charging curve. I don't suggest that you run this load box while you're trying to charge the battery. And these are two manual systems and they're totally different. But you can connect them together down here like I did. To monitor, since this is a live output here, to monitor what the battery is doing under charge. So you can see that the battery is starting to climb up now. And when it reaches the appropriate point, what's going to happen is this charger is going to regulate it so that it desulfates at the top end of the charge. And so you'll see this red light flashing and the green light solid. When that, when you get that indication on this charger, that means the battery's pretty much charged. Okay, but you're, this is a slow process because you're reconditioning batteries. So it takes a while. Uh, the correct way to do it is to charge the battery, load the battery, and I suggest if you really want to get a benefit out of this charger, then what you want to do is run the C20 rate. So, supplied on the top of this charger are all these rates for you and what the loads mean and how much current the unit draws. So, you'll be supplied with everything on the unit along with the meter and the computer program to run it. Now, if you're using XP, you probably won't have to get a driver for the program. So, if you're using Windows 7 like this, Windows 7 automatically goes out and gets the driver. If you tell it to do that, and then you're ready to go. So, once again, this is the load box. And we'll do this, do this real quick. Turn the charger off. Turn the load box on. This is all self-powered. So you don't plug this into the wall. Now, the current being drawn by this fan in the back has been calculated into the load. So that you've got the right rate. So... Let's just say we want to load this at the correct rate, which is about C20 for this. So we're just going to use this button, which is the third one, which is 1 ohm, and you can see. And this, this is going to correspond with a chart out here. And now you can watch the battery fall. And remember, if you do this 12 amps for one hour, that's 12 amp hours. If you do the 24 amps, for one hour, that's 24 amp hours. So it's really easy to, to do, and you can calculate all this into time by these divisions. So thanks for watching.